you know, some people like their egg scrambles, some people like theirs fries, some like their boiled, some like theirs poached, some like them's on a muffin, some like them with chicken on the side with a little bit of soy sauce. Apparently, if you have it with a bit of jelly, a little bit of the chicken brew stock like that, and you just have that, apparently you can make girls. That's a, you know, that's a top tip for there, you know. If honestly, if I ever did that in the kitchen business while I was in there, honestly, you, you would have seen me as a fucking stallion. So yeah, I actually have decided I want to keep this as a main thing on my channel. I do want to keep talking about Soma, what Ford food was, because it's fucking fun. I know what's going to be happening for a while in this series, and it's just fun to see, like, how the anime is actually doing this. And people curious about pacing-wise, I believe this was like two chapters or something like that because i know a lot of people are probably wondering oh is it going to be faithful to manga because you know a lot of things aren't doing that i mean it's a cooking show it's like what are they exactly going to do to diverse the path of filler or something like that oh no fucking soma made a fucking beef stew in this episode oh fuck me they ruined the canon like it's not exactly you know mind-breaking but it's like yeah they're sticking to the stuff as um i see from like when i read the manga like a, a while ago so it's like you know it's cool to see that and we see him actually taking the fucking exam this week and when we see Edina, like, because everyone's like, oh, Edina Sama, like, her god tongue, it's amazing. And you just see these most pompous, snobby motherfuckers. And people I know, I did that cooking business. I've been with those people. And sadly, it's the truth. And it is the truth, guys. Like, they're not everyone, of course, not everyone's a Soma as well. Not even can make bitches, like, not over eggs, but definitely one thing that can be said as well around this episode that is kind of like pretty much how 70 percent i'd go with of the cooking people that you actually hang out with are they pretty much own their own restaurants or they've been into a brand pretty much a, a bunch of chats me like i had no i had no cooking experience when i got into fucking college i all i knew was like oh i did something at school and i got told by my mom how to do a fucking like roast dinner that's fucking it you know so it's kind of interesting to see how Summer is actually even able to deal with this sort of situation. When he just went from a family diner to actually now he's moved up to the point where he's actually hanging out with these guys. And they just treat my shit because like, oh, you don't have daddy's restaurant on your side. I've been training with the professionals and have butlers and stuff. And me, 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 me. It's like, Soma, I'm glad you got that motherfucker by the neck. Because I think I would have done the same thing if anyone dare talk shit about my restaurant. Or how I cook, or how I was bred from. Uh, if I wasn't born with a fucking silver spoon, not even a silver spoon, a fucking platinum one up there, like all oh, that fucking assholes. Like, regardless of what, it was pretty cool that someone came at the end. He's like, because like Arian is like fucking like a little wannabe groupie. He's like, oh, I want to taste like in his dishes all the time. And he's saying like, oh, she's like the top ten of like everyone. I'm like. Yeah, she's up there. She's pretty cool. Like, she's, like, the bitch of the group. And it's like, ah, oh, that's kind of cool. Like, see her. Like, when fucking someone's like, yo, I'm going to make a dish. Fuck this. No, fuck this. Put the fucking headband on. Let's fucking go. And actually, it was a very clever thing. This is one thing I really enjoy about this series. And it's coming from someone, like I said, coming from someone that actually knows a little bit about the cooking business. It's like, the manga actually does know some stuff. I, I really give him props for that. Like, whether or not I'd be tasting it or not, it really depends on how much you put on there, because that's one thing. They definitely don't put the amount of, the, uh, like, food you actually have in there, because, let's be honest, like, he would probably fuck them up uh, hugely. So, I really do like the methods that he actually does, and it shows it does take time, like, especially with the eggs and the rice, and, like, everyone was like, well, you know, what the fuck, you're doing eggs and rice? And then, should they have, like, little bits of gelatin in there that actually were broth. It was actually broth from the chicken that he had, and it had, like, you know, some sake, it had some soy sauce. It was, like, really clever, and it started melting into the eggs and into the rice. He had, you know, a little bit of, like, celery, all that stuff, all that jazz. And it was really clever. It was really clever. And I really liked that. And Arian is like, oh, it's like I'm getting grouped by angels. I'm like, seriously? Like, you know, like some people get into like that sort of thing. You bring some whipped cream into the bedroom. What the fuck are these guys like then? Because like a bite of fucking something to eat, a bite of chicken or some rice or something or any bit of egg. Me, you guys, like when you start going into the bedroom, I want to see that. I, I want to see. I imagine like some like sort of like the poltergeist just comes into and like their bodies just start doing fucking cartwheels or some shit. Guys, what? Really did like this episode. It was a real fun one. Kind of funny though. You're thinking like, oh, he's gonna pass the test or something. No, nope, so we just failed. And you do see that that old dude at the end. So obviously, as you see him in the opening, he's gonna have a major role in the series. So yeah, so it's um, 
the future may look a little bit brighter throughout the whole series, but I'm going to give it a seven and a half. I thought it was funny. I thought it was good. I had a laugh with it. There were parts in this episode that made me, like, giggle a bit. And, you know, from a chef person, like, who did the uh, whole cooking business, it was actually clever how he did with the eggs. So I honestly give it somewhere a pat on the back for that. So let me know in the comments section down below what you thought about that. But that's all for me. So thank you very much for watching this always. And I'll see you guys next time.